So lastly, let's talk about degradation. Everyone says plastics last for a th this is what this is the lie that was told to my children that drove me nuts and made me start checking into all of this stuff. So we're told plastics last hundreds of years and there's never any information given. If you go to the World Wildlife Fund's website in Australia, they quote this number. No science is quoted. And the reason is there is not a scientific study in the history of the world that says plastics last hundreds of years under realistic conditions. Right. If we take, for example, a plastic bag, a polyethylene bag. There are two peer reviewed studies where they put a bag outside just in the air and it fell to pieces and degraded in less than one year. Right. Just fell to pieces in less than one year. And we're told 450 years, 500 years, 1,000 years. The number is fiction. What we have to remember is that plastics are made of carbon-carbon bonds. That's the same thing we're made of, right? It's the same thing cotton is made of, or wool. This is wool, right? So it's the same thing wool is made of. It's held together with the same chemistry as wool or cotton or the DNA in our bodies or the enzymes that make our bodies or leaves or plants. So plastics degrade at about the same speed as a piece of wood that's the same size because it's made of the same chemistries. So here's the study that I quote at the bottom and they, they measured in all kinds of different conditions, right? So it depends on the condition, how fast the degradation is, but let's just take things degrade slower in the sea, for example, because it's cold and there's less oxygen. But if you just take it outside, it was less than one year. Um, and so they concluded that there's no point to use um, degradable bags because they're not, they're not degrading any faster than a regular plastic bag is. So the public don't believe that, don't, don't understand that polyethylene and polypropylene are very, very unstable materials. The plastics industry spends $2 billion per year on stabilizers, right? What industry would spend $2 billion to stabilize materials if they lasted for hundreds of years? That would be insane. That would just be throwing away $2 billion. The reason we spend $2 billion a year on stabilizers is that all plastic professionals know plastics are not stable. Okay, so here's a comparison. If I took a film of polyethylene or polypropylene, it degrades in a one to three years outdoors, depending on the conditions. Paper is about the same. A biopolymer is similar. And also food is about the same. If you take a, a leaf or something like that, or a some other piece of organic matter. It's degrading at about the same speed. If we look at landfills, nothing degrades in a landfill. Everything takes a long time because landfills are designed to prevent degradation. Because when you degrade something, it releases carbon dioxide and we're trying to prevent that, right? So we're trying to prevent release of carbon dioxide. We're trying to prevent degradation. And that's why people will say, plastics don't degrade in a landfill. I'm like, of course they don't degrade in a landfill. You can pull a steak or an avocado out of a landfill after 20 years and it looks like new because nothing degrades there. All of these materials degrade to give carbon dioxide and methane. So you will hear people saying, plastics degrade to give carbon dioxide. And you're like, yeah, so does everything. Everything organic degrades to give the same exact gases. Only the difference is when you look at these materials, the plastic is greener than the other ones on a life cycle analysis.